Hole number one, par five, champion tees, 540 yards, members tees, 520 yards. The starting hole of Devil's Course is a par five that requires considerable skill. Water flanks both sides and rocks float perilously above the fairway. A good drive on a normal course may only find the rocks here. Fortunately, the approach is pretty easy after running this gauntlet, so a birdie as usual for this hole.
Hole number two, par four, champion tees, 340 yards. Members tees, 325 yards. This short par four is one of the toughest on the course. Because the green is high on a layered terrace, you should try to get your shot within 90 yards of the pin when you tee off, or the ball may hit the terrace banks and roll down. Though it's pretty difficult to get the ball on the small green with the second shot, a professional golfer like yourself should give it a lot of backspin. Hole number three, par four, champion tees, 275 yards, members tees, 255 yards. The green on this short par four is up a steep hill and the cup is 70 yards above the tee. Aim at the center of the fairway, but keep your eye on the ball because you may hit the steepest part of the hill and roll back down. With your second shot, aim for the center of the green, but again, be careful, as there are four bunkers around the green just waiting to give you a hard time.
Hole number four, par three. Champion tees, 160 yards. Members tees, 160 yards. Do you think this looks like an easy par three? Look again. There's a green in either direction from the tee. Instead of trying to land on the green, aim at the pin and try to get the ball to roll up onto it. Now, look at the green itself. It's filled with hills and valleys, with a couple of surprising bunkers. And the line on this crazy green is impossible to judge. Yes, you're on. Hole number five, par five, champion tees, 360 yards, members tees, 350 yards. This par five is a lot longer than it looks. You can go for the green in one shot, but it's virtually impossible to get the ball on top of that very steep hill. A long, hard tee shot should put you in a good position to try for the middle fairway leading up to the green. But remember, it's back to square one if you hit the high cliff walls. 